message I want to say is to all you recruits and all you players, come home. You know, if we can do it, y'all can do it. Come on home. Let's represent well. HBCUs need to keep going up. Whether you like it or not, whether they like it or not, we need to keep rising with this. We need to keep going with this. The money needs to come back home. Your talent needs to come back home. You need to play for your people. You need to represent our people. I mean, like I said, if we do it, you can do it. That's all I want to say. Thank y'all. If you thought the Coach Prime leaving ended the struggle, if you thought this would be the end of the fight, you thought that there was nothing else going to happen to HBCUs or crawl back into the cave, I got bad news for you. This right here, this game was so epic. The ratings were so high. The attendance, the field, this was a freaking Super Bowl. It has brought up another thing. So when people see the words, or uh, they feel money, they want to get more of it. It's addicting. It's something that draws you in. So, what's the next thing for evolution it is? They have got to bring up an HBCU playoff. And it is so simple, it's kind of scary. You have the MEAC and you have the SWAC. Those are the HBCU power conferences in FCS, right? The winner of that is obligated to play in the Celebration Bowl. ESPN, I got something for you. On top of that, have them host. The winner of the SWAC, winner of the MEAC, your host. Against two at-large HBCU teams. This year, it would have been a and and FAMU, which would have had FAMU go on to NC Central and would have had a and going to Jackson and the winner come to Atlanta. If you didn't want to play, that's all right. We'll pick the next person. If your school can't afford to drive down the street, we'll get the next person. This, what I saw yesterday, must be expanded. The people who have money are also thinking about how to expand this. What do y'all think? Can we add one more level to this? I'm out.